Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to get my ass solidly kicked by a lot of chrysalids so far. I am surprised that it's going so well but things are about to change and I want to manage a few expectations. So what's happening in the background is the following. We are now I would say from my experience in and around force level 15 16 which is where and i know that by a couple of things number one the type of enemies that are showing up on missions the supply rate uh, typically has up to two force levels above your current actual force level behind the scenes so we're kind of in that area around 14 to 16 fourth level and I noticed on the last few missions whether that is just itching out the absolute monster of a win in uh, the uh, retaliation mission or the two rather serious losses that we have suffered ever since. Um, it, it's getting really difficult and what is happening behind the scenes is not only the enemies are getting stronger but we're also more going towards like 3x size of pots. I'm seeing response of six eight uh, enemies that are coming in per round which we can't even like combat on a regular turn unless we're abusing uh, kind of blade storm and uh, double templar uh, stuff so i could see that the prime team might be able to sort of withstand the blows and uh, and go a little bit further maybe we can even give them some more health uh, via the uh, covert operations missions but i'm definitely expecting to see more casualties because i have only so so much um, opportunity to actually increase the hit points of everyone so unless there is kind of a fo fountain of uh, superior health increases with four hit points we have almost everyone in in between eight and ten maybe twelve hit points bottom line Andromedons would uh, kill us with one shot, uh, bottom line, uh, sector pods, gatekeepers are going to kill us uh, with uh, one shots, all of which are quite hardcore to deal with. Um, Stun Lancers, the elite versions, have a chance of dealing 12 to 14 points of damage with their uh, baton if they are critting, so there's another one shot uh, potential. And if you just go through all of the endgame enemies, there are actually quite a few of them uh, that can simply one shot you. So, I wanted to mention that in advance. Um, so far we have been very lucky and uh, this time I'm trying a new strategy because you gotta beat the enemies with uh, kind of their own uh, yeah, tactics so to speak. So we get a well-rounded team uh, which is kind of a B slash C team uh, here. So let's hope we're not uh, getting uh, shredded too much. But I put this here uh, in here and I just want to showcase that to you guys ghost grenades. Chameleons that we were fighting quite frequently can be used in order to create ghost grenades. And it has a two turn duration effect uh, that actually removes the detection radius, uh, which I assume would be something along the lines of a, of a um, reaper in that sense. And then afterwards everybody still stays concealed. Uh, given that Roro has Salvo, if I'm not mistaken, he does, right? Yeah, Salvo. Um, that'll allow us to uh, flop the grenade on the ground and essentially get everybody into concealment and just uh, run with it. So the idea here is if it gets to Harry, we like either put uh, the Mimic Beacon down and then immediately conceal everybody and move out. But essentially this is kind of an escape tool to hedge our bets. Um, if you look at the hit points, I mean, Russ definitely one shot, Frodo definitely one shot, Doom has one armor, but I'm not sure if it's in one shot uh, range. And only Striker and DM really are outside of one shot range. So that's going to be tough. I've taken the basic weapons with me just to make sure that if uh, and the basic armors to make sure that if we're getting uh, cornered we're not losing equipment that I can't afford to lose. Location for the VIP. Move 
to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contact. Okay, so VIP extraction here, but we okay. Hmm. Well, at least the extraction zone is near. Russ here is our scout. 12 turns are not a lot. You're kidding me, right? Look at that. This is uh, the ultimate trap. You're just moving down and you're getting... Oh, oh my god. This is so XCOM. Okay, first squad located. No need to ask twice. Let's fight around high ground over here. Go, go, go. Let's do this. No need to ask twice. Okay. Vigilance is becoming more and more of a problem, like really, 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 because even the civilians have double the radius of detection. Look at that, we can't even move through this. Such a garbage ability. Okay, we're reducing our our radius cuz I don't want to be spotted through here. Well, at least our scout is somewhat working. Not sure how to deal with that amount of vigilance. It's crazy. Will do. Okay, well, Headed there now. moving to here, nothing. Rowing. Still nothing, okay. Well, that's a problem. Moves up there. Okay. Heading out. Moving to designated position. Now we're wasting a lot of time. I need a pack to engage on. Affirmative covering now. If it doesn't happen right now, I need to force something next turn. <sighs> Don't tell me that we see all of these guys. All right, Mimic Beacon, it is.
You gotta love how XCOM makes you work for every little grenade that you can toss. Good. That should create a lot of problems. Overall decent hit. <laughs> okay. All right. Haywire protocol into a heavy mag. I like it. Oh yeah, baby, we got our Mimic Beacon. Uh, Subsonic will disorient, but doesn't deal a lot of damage. No, 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 no. It's not the time to fiddle around. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, we don't want to trigger that entire pack. Uh, so that's not happening either. Got to deal with a skirmisher. And it's massive 12 hit points. Good, the moment that the Sun Lancer moves in, he's dead. Gotta be careful. Does this here trigger the other pack? Is it does not? We will overcome. Good. Instead, <clears throat> we're done with one of these guys. Could suppress the shield bearer. Run Gunnan. A decent uh, chance. Set this guy up for a kill. <laughs> and 
and then he dodges like a professional. Can't let him live though. He is too dangerous. That's a two for one kill. <clears throat> Oh, look at you. I see. The mine did not explode. Well, that's a mistake. It should have also exploded. And we're going to take a subsonic shot. Finally, suppression, and we're good to go. Tense mission. I know you gotta be careful. We gotta be so careful. Anyways, in all of the care that we need to uh, that we need to pay, how about the heavy mag moves a little bit further forward, not triggering anything, but removing some cover here with a guardian. Then we're moving in with uh, the DM. Stick and move. Uh, no, that could trigger a view. No, uh, triggers first and foremost burning. Let's do this. Okay, well that worked out well. Uh, we're reloading and we're killing this guy. Very nice hit. Can we? Wow, this would be dangerous. I don't know if this here would trigger these guys. It's good position, but it is exposed, Saiken. up but that would likely trigger gotta be so careful with the line of sight here okay let's remove the shield that remove the shield no I could have sworn we have skilled the shield removal okay we can suppress if needed no problem, boss. moving over here
And how can we get that guy? Too dangerous. Roro moves up. Not good. Not good. Let's suppress him. And we're moving a tiny bit closer with Russ. Who's still in cover. <clears throat> Raises his weapon. And the overwatch worked like a charm. Why are we revealed all of a sudden? Wait, 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 wait. Why are we revealed? What? 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 What is happening? Why is... Why do we have an extra unit? Alright, I need to restart the menu and come back. Give me a sec. Okay, so we're back, apparently. And God knows why that has happened. Uh, we now have Svetlana ready to move, question mark. I have absolutely no idea how that happened. I imagine uh, the pot moved in here. Maybe there was an Andromedon. Maybe it uh, destroyed just the tiniest of corners of the cage. Net net, our VIP is now controllable. And that in return means uh, we are seeing reinforcements. Well, see, I was right. They somehow managed to sneak in. And what are we dealing with? Mutant Prime. Out of all of uh, the characters, why does it need to be a Mutant Prime? Good, I do have an idea. I'm just not sure if it's going to work. Uh, we need to find the right angle for that. And I'm trying to free our VIP in a, say, a little bit less conventional fashion. Alright, VIP is free. VIP needs to get the hell out of here. We've got a chance to take this thing down. No. Oh. Okay, we're effed. Oh, it's not no, that's not going to work. Yep, we're getting out of here. We are so getting out of here. On a scale from one to let's get the F out of here, we are like right on top of it. Good. This is one of those situations every person for themselves. Not 
quite, but bottom line. Bottom line, I don't want to have to deal with any of that. Okay, not sure if our civilian will make it out, but we're going to see. The mech is already dead. Careful with the priest, mind control and stasis are real, uh, real traps. And this is how the whole mission went from, you know, I think we have it under control to, nope. Okay, luckily the mech has a couple of a uh, bit of defense in it, so we are actually quite lucky with all of the hi uh, hits or the leg thereof. Oh yeah, sure, give everybody. I think that's potentially the most valuable shield I've ever seen ever uh, in all of XCOM's career. All right. That could have been an easy uh, kill right there. That's a double move. You can't shoot after that. <coughs> okay, four starters. You can get out. 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 And of course, one person is having a problem. Ross, what the F is wrong with you? Ghost grenade. gone back in concealment baby go, go, go. enders makes it out take care frodo heavily injured makes it out Alright, what kind of hack do we have? Is it everybody gets disoriented? Something along those lines? Uh, okay, we do have Intel or we do have a Mimic Beacon. I think the, the answer here is clear. Mimic Beacon. Problem is the mech will very soon become hostile as well. Oh, well, maybe we're losing our VIP. But you know how it is, shit happens. Okay. 
Roro moves over. The DM moves over. And Russ is almost out of here. I actually start to appreciate that ghost grenade more and more. Good, next up, civilian. Eight point. Oh, Svetlana is really trying her best. I want to give that stupid Viper King another shot. Good. We're moving out. See you later. Out of here. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't think that that mimic beacon will hold. Okay, well, now it's only full cover and 150 enemies that can try to abuse their shots but yeah well that's going to be one hell of a sprint all right miss 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 Well, what am I going to say? This whole thing is an absolute joke. Roger that. Good. I'm out of here. So much for our VIP. Well, thank you, Bradford. Let's review our tactics real quick. So everything went well. I had 10 more turns and uh, then the VIP decided to activate, um, which prompted me in trying to rescue it. Completely stupid idea, I know, right? I should have just left her there, uh, which then returned, uh, uh, mm, uh, kind of turned around into reinforcements coming in immediately plus the Viper King and All I did is get four people back alive. Sure. That was a pretty bad mission uh, Don't even have the intel to make contact Okay. Told you guys things are not going to look that good. The game will uh, is trying to throw us a bone. Do we need another engineer? Question mark. already got nine do we want a tenth or are we taking into i think for once i'm actually in the intel camp because we need to expand i want to get a technical analysis the engineer won't move the dial a lot and i need to reclaim um, the territory that is lost we have made a number of new discoveries commander well, fabulous. Can't research, can't research, can't research, can't research, can't research. Let's see what we can research. Oh, Intel. 
This campaign and the lack of breakthroughs in particular is frustrating. Together, we have succeeded in our task. Okay. Well, that would not be bad. A promotion would definitely be a good one. Um, we have a lot. Ooh, dodge plus 10. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, we wanted that, and I wanted to locate the stronghold at some point. So, yeah, dodge plus 10 it is. 34 hours. Uh, I mean, we can take Namri here. Give her the dodge. The other option is more dodge on Lyrical, which I think isn't a bad idea. Just spreading the love a little bit. And it's only six days. Uh, this is actually a super good mission for us. We even get one more uh, mission before the end of the month. Slicinator has entered our team. I like the melee attacks actually, but um, grenades would be bad if we actually had the ability to carry more grenades. So that is good. And that is good as well. Let's find the right color for you, my friend. There you go. Slicinator is reporting for duty. And I think we have one more to go. Uh, do we have enough field medics? One, two, three, four. Marines. One, two, three, four. Marksmen. Uh, one, two, three. I think we're short of a marksman, so let's get that final marksman in. Uh, what are we dealing with? Neutralize Field Commander. A group of Advent-controlled chrysalids has gone off grid and is roaming the area. Hmm. Hack the resistance computer for a hidden event. Or a major marine. Destroy the alien relay. Mm. Whilst I like the Major here a lot, that's a good reward, I think we should go for... Uh, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> that is Assassin. Uh, uh, I don't like it. Do I really want to fight against her? On the other hand, she's not duplicated, uh, so she might actually be easier than everything else that we're currently fighting. So <laughs> maybe, in a crude and twisted way, the Chosens are actually the easier uh, selection for us. Uh, plus, if we're losing this, uh, we're not going to lose our radio station and it will only cost us 80 intel to get back into action. So that's not too bad. I think we're going to do that mission here but I'll go through it the next time for now I think we're good to go and uh, yeah I think that's the end of today's episode um, more like a mental episode uh, than one that was really helpful unfortunately we effed it up or XCOM effed it up for us no matter, depending on how you want to look at it. 
But yeah, that wasn't really good. But there are a couple of bonds that we can finally improve on. So that'll help us. Not now, but in the near future. Shadow Chamber might be helpful. Uh, that actually would give us a better sense of what we're dealing with. And I mean, overall, funnily enough, we're still in the game. We're just going to lose a lot of territory because I'm very soon no longer going to be able to actually complete missions. The last one was a good example. Um, I think if uh, that bug hasn't happened, we would have been able to actually complete uh, the mission. The second pack with the mutant uh, elite, we could have gotten through that uh, with a mutant prime, then killed our um, mech, and then maybe with a, a explosion or remote hack opened uh, the door and just gotten out of it. Because the few vipers themselves, uh, we, we definitely wouldn't have fought against the viper king, not on a time uh, mission and six or seven vipers that he had with him uh, would have been crazy so many tongue lashes uh, you, you wouldn't want to do that but given our grenade um, that we had like the ghost grenade i think we could have gotten out of there without um, an immediate threat uh, the problem and and maybe in hindsight i should have moved the vip towards uh, the grenading spot and then um, also concealed them yeah well you know hindsight is always 2020 maybe that could have saved the VIP it sucked that they were just barely out uh, gunned and outmatched but my point stands I think we are going to lose more and more missions just because the enemy is too strong and I either risk just throwing meat into the meat grinder and uh, really like uh, fighting it out or we need to retreat more often and I have no problem uh, playing on the edge and risking uh, people dying and I actually also have no problem just uh, having people die because we can get new recruits but let's do that in a sensible fashion and not just throw the lives of our um, soldiers away meaning if um, we are on a timed mission and if I actually F it up, um, then it's a complete squad wipe and that would be a setback for this campaign. Anyways, those are my thoughts about where we currently stand. It's a bit um, of, uh, of a feels bad man uh, emoji at the end of uh, this particular uh, mission, but we'll uh, bounce back guys. Keep a positive mindset. That's my tip for you in game, but also in life. Uh, things are oftentimes clearing up. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Take care and have a happy day. Bye bye.